Do you know a jail which has no railings but you are required to report two to three times a week or else you will surely die if you fail to do so? Hello. How are you? Hope you are always healthy and well. Welcome to my channel ladies and gentlemen. Today I want to share to you on how to avoid being a prisoner on this jail without railing, are you ready? A horrible jail without railing, dialysis center, clinic, a place where dialysis patients become prisoner, where they are obliged to confine themselves for about 5 to 6 hours, 2 to 3 x a week and if they fail to do so, their life is at great risk, the process goes like this. When your kidneys fail, dialysis keeps your body in balance by removing waste, salt and extra water to prevent the from building up in the body. Keeping a safe level of certain chemicals in your blood, such as potassium, sodium and bicarbonate, helping to control blood pressure. And when your kidneys are severely damaged and not functioning well, the fast remedy is dialysis. Hemodialysis is the most common type of dialysis. This process uses an artificial kidney, hemodialyzer, to remove waste and extra fluid from the blood. The blood is removed from the body and filtered through the artificial kidney. The filtered blood is then returns to the patients through another catheter. This is the process of dialysis. When you have kidney failure and it becomes very severe and crosses a point where there's not enough function to maintain the body, then you need either a transplant or dialysis. How does hemodialysis work? First you'll need a minor surgery to create direct access to your bloodstream. Fistula, also known as arteriovenous fistula or AV fistula, an artery and vein are joined together under the skin in your arm. An AV fistula needs six weeks or longer to heal before it can be used for hemodialysis. Then, it can be used for many years. Occasionally, an access is made by means of a narrow plastic tube, called a catheter which is inserted into a large vein in your neck. This type of access may be temporary but is sometimes used for long-term treatment. Is dialysis uncomfortable? You may have some discomfort when the needles are put into your fistula or graft but most patients have no other problems. The dialysis treatment itself is painless. However, some patients may have a drop in their blood pressure. If this happens, you may feel sick to your stomach, vomit, have a headache or cramps. With frequent treatments, those problems usually go away. How long can you live on dialysis? If your kidneys have failed, you will need to have dialysis treatments for your whole life and to me, this is life imprisonment unless you are able to get a kidney transplant. But it would cost you millions of pesos to donor, major surgery, medicines and other hospital expenses. Life expectancy on dialysis can vary depending on your other medical conditions and how well you follow your treatment plan. Average life expectancy on dialysis is 5 to 10 years, however, many patients have lived well on dialysis for 20 or even 30 years in the USA and Europe, but this is rarely happens in the fills. Talk to your healthcare team about how to take care of yourself and stay healthy on dialysis. Is dialysis expensive? Yes. You will spend at least 40,000 pesos a month for maintenance to stay alive. Dialysis costs a lot of money. Aside from huge amount of expenses, you would spend 5 to 6 hours every session in the dialysis center, 2 to 3 times a week. This is a jail without railings that anyone should be avoided. If you have kidney disease or kidney failure then most likely, you are a candidate to be jailed or confined to this prison without railing. But the good news is that there are ways to avoid being imprisoned inside this horrible prison. Take care of your kidney as early as now. And these are the basic steps to do it. 1. Reduce salt intake and drink 2 liters of water daily 2. Eat healthy foods with lesser sodium, salt and exercise regularly. 3. 
maintain a blood pressure to 120 80ths and lessen sugary foods that cause high blood sugar level. 4. Be careful on taking pills, pain reliever or anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen regularly. 5. Quit smoking and abusing drinks with high alcohol content. When you follow these basic disciplines, you will surely avoid to become a prisoner of this horrifying jail without railing. Hope you learn valuable lessons on this blog, consider like, comments, share and subscribe. For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 Thank you for watching.